Welcome to Unity Worship. We are happy that you're able to join us today. Today, we wanna uplift and thank our pediatric, acute, and outpatient rehab department. Um, thank you for your passion and dedication for all of our patients and serving our community. Eileen, let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, today we want to ask you for a special blessing over our pediatric rehab, outpatient rehab, and acute rehab department. May you renew their strength during this season. Give them all the tools and resources they need to care for our patients, associates, and community. Thank you, God, for your love and care. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Light 
spirit of truth and he is with me everywhere I go Hello, my name is Israel Olaore and I'm very happy to be with you today. I'm originally from Nigeria in West Africa. And Nigeria, it's the largest country by population in all of Africa. Every one out of five people from Africa is a Nigerian. Here in the United States or any part of the world you go to, we are everywhere. Someone like actually said, if you go to a country and there's no Nigerian there, it's not safe. Go somewhere else, you know. But today, I just wanted to share with you some things that I've learned over the years. And I've titled this short expression of my words to you, Seasons and Reasons. Each of us is in a season of our lives. Right now, we are probably in the winter season of our lives when things are winding down, or in the summer when things are blooming and exciting. But the flip side of that is what are some reasons for how you survive the seasons of your life. And I've found one purpose that works for me. And that is from the last 40 years of my life, 1982 to be precise, I found this thought and that is to inspire hope and victorious living for those that I lead inspiring hope and victorious living. The Bible tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, that for every season, there is a time and a purpose for everything under the sun. And we know that purpose is why each of us find meaning in our lives. And so my question for you today is, what season of life are you? And what reason do you have to engage fully in that season of your life? Personally, I've had so many seasons come and go in my life. I was just sharing with someone not too long ago that I came as an immigrant to the United States in 1993, and that was one season of my life. And in 2006, I was called back to Nigeria from where I originally came and I had another 13 years in Nigeria, another season of my life. And currently from 2018, 2018 to date, I'm back in the United States, another season of my life. Transitions coming in and going, but the purpose is still the same. The reason is still the same, to inspire hope and victorious living for someone that I meet. So what is your reason for living? What is your purpose for life? Are you a leader? Are you a healer? Are you someone that listens? What are those gifts that God has given you that can help you engage with someone and bring joy into their life? That can be your purpose for living. That can be your reason within this season of your life. And that purpose can transform as you grow older. Because for me right now, my wife and I, we are empty nesters, meaning our sons, four of them, have grown and gone. But the purpose is still the same, just tweaked a little bit to be able to accommodate the new things happening in this season of our life. So I want to give you this assignment. Look inwards. What are you really good at? What, people, what do people say that you are good at and people enjoy that you do when you're with them? And what will you do and not get paid for and still do it with a passion? That could be a clue to your reason. So as you enjoy this season of your life, continue to find meaning in your purpose and in your reason. God bless you. It's been nice spending this time with you. Have a wonderful rest of your day.